Welcome guys. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to live stream with an existing video onto your YouTube channel. Now, what I mean by this is actually, you know, well, on my video, on my previous video, I showed you guys how to live stream on YouTube, right? But this time we are also going to be live streaming on YouTube, but with a different method, actually. So now this is actually the method. I have this existing video right here. This is actually a game I already played. So I can actually live stream this particular game to my YouTube channel. But then I have already played this game. So I can just have this video displaying on my OBS studio and it will be live streaming. And also, if I want this video to be looping, what I mean by looping is to be um, playing on repeat. Let's say after it finished playing, it plays again and it keeps playing until my device shut down, which is my system or my internet, or I decide to stop the live streaming. That is the only time it's going to stop. If not, it's going to keep looping, even though the system and the internet is active for two years, it's going to be looping for the whole of two years. So guys, I'm going to show you guys just how to do that on today's video. So let's dive into that. Now, this is the existing video right there. This is Endlane. I'm going to live stream this on my uh, YouTube channel. So I already showed you guys the software and how to set up the software. I'm not going to discuss that on today's video because it's going to make it too long. But if you actually want to learn how to do this, please go ahead and watch my previous video. But I'm actually going to explain some important things before we start. So let's start. Now, I just click double click to open my OBS and I will prefer this chart to be on the left hand area, just this area right here. Should be fine, but I don't like it covering. So I'm going to reduce this. That is fine. Now, let me start. So if you have OBS open this way, let me go ahead and explain something very quick. Click on the settings, go over to the settings, and there are very few things that you, act, you can actually make changes to the stream output and the video. So um, on the stream is actually where you connect your um, YouTube channel. You notice I already connected it. It's called Life Path. That is actually where you connect your YouTube channel to the um, to the software that we are making use of, which is actually called OBS. And then this is actually the output, which is probably determined based on your internet speed. And this is also the video resolution, which is probably our video frame rate and also the size of our screen and the size we want this, our live stream to be. So if you've done that, go ahead and click on apply and let's start live streaming. So to start live streaming, I have this scene. I can actually right click to rename this. So um, I actually want to remove that too right there. I'm okay with this scene. I'm going to leave that as scene. So and let's start live streaming. So to start live streaming, we have to actually click on this plus icon right here. And then um, we are going to go to where it says um, video source, sorry, media source right here. This is the media source. Select that. And then just I'm going to leave that on default. But you know what? Let me go ahead and give it a name. Um, it's called Endlane. So once you're done, click on OK. It's going to confirm. It's going to display right there. You can notice it. And then it's going to actually ask for my video source. So I'm just going to click on Browse. And I know where I have my video. So make sure you know where you have your video. And also, the supported format is actually MPEG videos or MP4 videos is actually required. And this is Endling. This is the game right here. So I'm going to, uh, if you are okay with that, just click on OK. And then you notice I mentioned um, if you want to loop the video. Now, if you choose loop, your live stream is going to keep going. Um, even though the video is on, it's going to keep playing and playing. But if you don't choose loop, it's going to end when the video ends. Now, this is actually what I mean. You notice this video right here. It's Excuse me. This video right here is actually, uh, I think, 14 minutes, right? Um, let me play the video. Okay, this is just a four-minute video, I think. Okay, 14 minutes, right? 14-minute video. 
so if this video plays it stops at 14 minutes after the timeline reaches so if you want to choose that just choose that particular one and it's going to start working and then actually what happens after the live stream has ended restart playback when the source becomes active and then use your hardware encoding um, when available i do not have a graphics card so i'm going to leave that and every other thing on default but if for some reason you want to change it go ahead and change it and also if you want to use a different audio source you can go ahead and choose full or um, limited to choose different audio source i'm actually okay with what i have so i do not want to loop this video to be playing for a very long time but if you want to do that go ahead and choose loop i just want this live stream to go and then when it completes it's going to stop so i'm going to click on okay and this is the video right there i'm going to um I'm going to pause this video you notice right here this is actually the timeline so you can actually control this or you stop it whichever one you want this is the stop and this is the play so now let me go ahead and make this live stream to fit my screen and it fits perfectly well so um, this is actually how I want it and then when you click on play the live stream starts and the video is going to start playing and also guys this is our live stream right now if you want to do more things on this particular software you can still do that you can still go ahead and click on the plus icon that is if you want your face to be showing and hold on guys i have to choose the camera or video capture source i just selected that and i'm going to click on ok do not worry you can edit any changes you made and hey guys this is me again so um this is the integrated camera which is a camera that came with my laptop and i can change this also by clicking on this area if i have external camera plugged i'm going to see that camera displaying right here or the external device but i do not have any device connected so i'm just going to leave this on default and then if you want your face to be showing right here just reduce it a little bit make it look good for the people watching it and probably bring it down here i think that is okay so if i'm live streaming right now both my face and the video is going to be playing but people are actually going to think i'm playing this video right but i'm actually not playing them and also you can download anybody's game and do the same thing but guys do not do this i don't advise you to do this it's not good to do it because it's actually stealing from the person so um i encourage you guys to be wise to be smart and please do not do this this is just for tutorial purpose i'm just sharing ideas of possibility or everything possible i can tell you guys even more thing that is possible on my next video but let's continue with this so the next thing i actually want to do is to go live right but before you go live click on this manage icon right here click on manage broadcast it says um youtube error whenever it does this is actually a network issue and you can notice that my internet is currently not active so let me go ahead and enable my internet or my wifi to come up online and it's probably loading up to okay it says no internet hold on it's going to connect and let me just go ahead and test this also with internet explorer entering studio.com okay i think it's currently active because it's loading up but my internet is still a bit slow so now guys let's continue um, manage broadcast this should be able to connect right now all right so i'm going to give this a title and i'm going to call this um so i'm playing and lane I don't know why it's even called Endling, although it's, a, it's actually a very interesting game. And the category is game. And on this area, I would say it's not meant for kids. And on my, uh, I don't actually have a thumbnail for it. This is annoying. I'm just going to put any, let me go online and search for Endlings. And I'm going to put any image right there. I'm going to search for Endlings. Well, Endling. I don't know why the game is actually titled Endling, but the game is actually very interesting, guys. I love Fox a lot, and you guys should consider trying the game. I really enjoy playing this game. It's very, very interesting. It shows you guys a lot about nature. 
So if you are interested in this kind of game, uh, you love Fox as an animal, try or consider playing the game. Quite interesting. So um, this is Endling Image, and I'm going to see if it downloads or uh, it's even the PNG instead of um, the JPG. Uh, we have to look for save image. I can't find save image. Let me just go to Google. Using um, Bing is actually very funny because they don't give you the privilege to do everything. So I'm going to type endlane again. And go to the image. And I'm going to choose any one that interests me. Um, what about, I could actually take a screenshot and it would have been better, but let's just use this. So, um, this is team. I hope I don't get copyright for this. Oh, come on. Save image. right um the image should be saved saved right so um click on the download section where you have your image and add your image this is the image and i'm okay with that i'm just going to click on create broadcast now if you click on create broadcast you are going to notice it says um creating a new broadcast and then um once it's done, it's going to be updated to this area. So I will just have to come to this area and click on content on your YouTube dashboard, actually. Click on content. And let me see. Okay, it has created it successfully. I didn't have to wait too much time because I think I've already showed you guys this particular um, steps before. So if you have any questions, still leave it on the comment section. Hopefully, I'll be able to answer to that. But um if you do not have any question that is also good because i assume you already know this so after creating it you notice um, just come to this area and click on view control room and from this area you um actually enable whether you want to publish this to the public or you want to have um have this be limited to some certain users and also you can also enable the monetization right here so just come to edit right click on edit wait for it to load up and it's going to load up more information so this is actually the title i created from streamlab and i didn't add any description so i'm just going to say um this is my um endling game play i've been wanting to upload this game but for some reason i did not do that because uh it took so many time i don't think i've created a playlist for endling so i'm going to create a playlist for this game new playlist uh, we call this endling So guys, if you do not know, this is actually one of my channels. So you can just go ahead and subscribe to this channel and watch some awesome games I have, I have for you. So uh, on the game, I will title this Endling. And then there is one more thing. On the gaming section, I'm going to add Endling also. This is Endling. Endling extension. I think that is Endling extension is forever. And what else am I missing? So everything is ready. And the thing now is uh, this KDU. I actually do not want to KDU this video. I want to publish this video right now. But I have option for KDU. So um, I'm going to click on save and it's visible to the public. So guys, if you ever want to have this. Um, this not to be visible to the public like you want this to only be visible to some certain group let's say uh members only you can select members only but i think i'm okay with the public right now 
so i'm going to go with that i'm just going to cancel so now we're ready to start live streaming all you need to do is to click on start streaming and this is going to start streaming and even though um, i have this camera on i'm just going to show you guys example you can still disable the camera and you are going to be off screen and this is going to be live streaming and if for some reason guys you can just record your face and have it here and then upload it here and it's going to be live streaming so guys all right guys welcome back so um this is me playing and lane and this is actually supposed to be the live stream so calm down trust so guys after you've set up and you're ready to start live streaming i have been live and for a while and if you notice i have four views i was actually trying to save the video for some reason because um my editing tool actually allows me to record only 15 minutes so i've already done that so I have been live for four minutes and you can see that is currently live and then if you want to start playing this video live all you need to do click on the video start playing the video is going to start playing and the game will be active now the game starts now and this is the game so everybody currently watching the game are going to be seeing the video but now you can notice i have a very poor um bandwidth of my internet so it's actually going to be very slow so i'm going to try to refresh this page but i know it's currently live streaming but the only issue i have right now is i have a very poor network so this is actually how to live stream a video without you playing it you can just go away while the video is currently live and people are going to be watching because obviously you want to entertain them and then another thing guys anytime you want you can always remove this you notice this is actually um, the webcam and you can either disable it by clicking on this or you just uh, remove it by right clicking hold on okay i already disabled it uh, it's not right clicking because of network it's right clicking but it's taking so much time so let me go ahead and click on remove and you notice it says are you sure you want to delete i'm going to say yes well why the game is still playing so i'm currently live streaming and even though i am not playing the game but for some reason my network is so poor so guys thank you for watching this video i hope this video is helpful um i know it's definitely helpful because it's going to work perfectly on your end it's only doing this on my own end because i am actually not having a proper internet and thank you guys for watching and i really appreciate it. if you have any issue doing this please let me know let me know on the comment section and hopefully i'll be able to address that and assist you with that and thank you again and see you soon peace